This month marks the 30th anniversary of the Velvet Revolution, marking the end of communism in the Czechoslovakia, freeing them and forming the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Last week, a poll shows that about one-third of millennials have a favorable view of communism. Q2's David J talked with two Slovakian men who were surprised by that poll. Milan Cicel talks about his life in Slovakia, which along with the Czech Republic, was once part of Czechoslovakia. We've been invited to celebrate, commemorate that uh, what's happening 30 years ago when our road to the freedom or inner freedom uh, started. Cicel and Josef Luptak lived under communism in Czechoslovakia until 1989. Once I've been identified as uh, one who is not in favor of the communism, so the secret police was uh, really interrogated me about uh, nine, nine years, you know, so that's, uh, that was uh, not very pleasant. They say life is better in a democratic parliamentary republic, but still has challenges. We see how slow the process goes and how much new evil things. And sometimes it led into, into the very tragic moments, like, you know, killing the, killing the journalists two years ago. A recent Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation poll shows that 36% of millennials in America view communism favorably. They are ignorant to the history but the history proved the lesson already that communism doesn't work. For me, it's tragic <laughs> because, because I think they didn't have experience. Our society didn't share uh, what was happening 30 years ago enough with the young people. It was an uh, iron curtain, we couldn't travel, it was, it was not freedom of speech. Everything was controlled, censored, so I wouldn't like to go back to that. Scary, scary. Uh, they need to listen to Milan. Bill Simmons has been visiting Slovakia for 20 years and his company has sponsored a series of lectures in Billings. There's this strange lack of memory that seems to be surfaced and now there's, a, there's an unease about it. So I, I, just, I just think it would be extraordinary if we could all know what has happened and is happening and what they can share with us. In Billings, David J, MTN News. Thank you. Thank you, David. And he says the revolution peaceful transition was from November 17th to 29th in 1989.